Charles, a couple of years ago, I was in Shanghai and speaking at the university there, the business school, to China's CEO forum. And at the end of a fascinating day, the dean walked back from the dinner to the lecture hall with me, and he said this. He said, what am I missing? He said, we in China are fascinated with the Christian roots of the Western past, thinking of capitalism, democracy, human rights, science, all these good things. He said, we in China are fascinated with the Christian roots of the Western past, but you're cutting off your roots. What am I missing? If you look at the church in the modern world, the church, thank God, is exploding around the less developed world, the so-called global south, sub-Saharan Africa, Latin America, China, but doing appallingly badly in the West. We have lost Europe for the time being. Very secular. If you look at the United States, things look good, but the numbers are only strong in the middle classes, and we have lost the leadership institutions the universities, the press and media, the professional associations, right across the board. We've lost the traditional Christian influence in all of these. And so you can see we are not doing well, and much of the church that looks flourishing is in fact incredibly worldly at all sorts of points. So I would say we truly need Reformation revival. We're at a place that Martin Luther would have described as Babylonian captivity. And I think the failures of the Christian right over the last 30 years give us a moment to say to everyone, we must not be captive to culture. It might be political, it might be consumer culture, it might be management culture, it might be marketing culture, doesn't matter. All the areas in which we're captive to culture by being uncritical, by God's grace, we've got to break free and ask for a spirit of repentance and renewal and revival and reformation to sweep the people of God again so that we might become truly his people and not culturally worldly. That, I think, is the great challenge of the Western church. Can we have a faith with integrity that prevails against the teeth of the wilderness of our modern world?